What is up guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with another video. Um, I'm really digging the whole flexibility and dynamic nature of JavaScript in the sense that you can sort of build on the prototype of um, different types, you know, like strings, arrays, objects, whatever, and add your own methods. And, um, you know, so, so in any programming language, functions are like little recipes that are supposed to save you time so that you don't uh, always repeat yourself. So to extend on that, you know, why not just take advantage of that prototype and inject some customizable functions in there? You know, so the one we're going to talk about today is a, a save function. So say we have, uh, we're working with local storage, you know, and we want to save an array of users into our local storage. So let's get to it, right? We have this prototype of the array, and we just want to call this function save. And this is just going to be a function. It's not going to take any arguments because it's already assuming that we're going to give it an array. We're going to check for two things here. We're going to check one, we're going to say if um, type of storage uh, is not equal to undefined. And we're also going to check for one more thing. We're going to check for um, it's not equal to find and this dot. Uh, and we're also going to check for type of this is equal to array. So if it meets both of those conditions, guys, then we know the user is giving us an array back. But we could just check, you know, maybe we, we, we want to see for sure type of this. Um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, guys, so let's just, let's just run our function right now. We're going to create a user's array. And it's just going to hold three users. So Theo, Jeff, and John. It's good. And uh, you can initialize that any way you want. And all we want to do here is do, we just want to run console.log users.save and see what we get back. We get undefined back. Um, and type of this. And type of this, let me see. Um, okay, so let me think. And type of this, also the log type of, let me just log this, see what we're getting. Why are we getting undefined? If type of storage is not equal to undefined, undefined and type of this, hmm, and type of this is equal to, it's not equal to undefined, and type of this is equal to array, array is not defined, array, once about log this. Um, type of, I don't know why we're getting undefined, this is equal to array, uh, this dot type of, hmm, let me see real quick, type of JavaScript, in the developer network type of ah okay I think I got it let's go back type of this of this undefined type of array let's return to the string Objects, numbers, I don't, hmm, maybe you can't, oh, okay, right, array dot is array, okay, so that's not going to work, so we'll just do, I guess I'm retarded, but, and array dot is array, this, 
um, console.log is array dot is array this true okay got it so it's true and I don't know why we're getting back into fine but now that we know that um, okay so now that we have that all that code come on okay we got that formatted let's actually store this store this bad boy so we're gonna do local storage dot set item users and json dot stringify users and just to test that we got our users back we will return local storage dot get item users json dot parse um, who are we parsing? JSON dot parse get item users get item users maybe storage dot get item I think it's like this maybe JSON dot parse users unexpected token you Local storage get item. Local storage get item. Let's look at it. Local storage dot get item. Local storage. And local storage dot JSON dot parse. Ah, okay, right. Okay. So to get it back, we will do var users equals local storage dot get item users, and we will just log out json dot parse users unexpected token u. Why is it saying that? json dot parse retrieved object. Get item test object. Well, I guess we can do it afterwards. Um, let's get rid of that. Okay, so that works. I guess you can't do it right there in the function. Maybe you can. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. But if we comment this out and we look actually in our Chrome developer tools. We go to resources, local storage, we go to null.jsbin, we see our users right, right here. Um, so we're going to take these out and go back in here. We should see, should see them again because it's going to run this function, obviously. But um, so yeah, guys. Pretty quick tutorial about how to write your own custom save function, users.save. And um, just to show you, I'm not pulling your chain. Let's just take out, let's just write one user, Theo. And if we run users.save on that, let's inspect, go back to our resources, our local storage, null, and we have a user of Theo. So, and if we log out, um, our user is local storage dot get item users console dot log json dot parse uh, user there you go there I am right there and I wonder I don't know if you can run the link property on that maybe not I don't know if you, yeah, you probably can't. JSON.parse user var parsed. Let me see if we can run length on there. Console.log parsed.length. One. So I guess it's just returning the object length. Um, 
actually let me see if we can get parse to user yeah so it's an array and then the first index that's the length of my name so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe give it a thumbs up let me know what you guys think in the comments um, any feedback is greatly appreciated hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you want to see next and thank you see you in the next one thanks for your time